Well, hey everyone, welcome to your weekly reading with your girl, Crystal Doty. I'm an international intuitive, author of the book, What Would Angels Do? A Spiritual Mentor, and I am here to give you some clarity and some comfort and some really good vibes for this week ahead. This video is for those of you who have a water sign, which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, in your sun, moon, or ascending. You can also cross-watch your favorite water sign person um, while watching these videos as well. So let's get started here. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these two decks. I'm working with the Magical Fairy Oracle and my own deck, the Modern Mystic Tarot. So I'm tapping in here. I'm asking that you be aware that you have angels around you. Take a deep breath. Sit back and relax for my water sign reading for this week. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or those of you who are cross-watching, what is the main theme this week for you? What is the main theme for my Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Ask for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need. Ooh, okay. How are you at asking for what you want, water signs? <laughs> Is it hard or are you expecting everyone to be a psychic and to just know? You know, one of the hardest things is to ask for what you want because I think that that's one of the things that are, is shut down as a child. We're, we're afraid to ask for what we want. Look at this sweet little child we have here on this card. He's just, um, you know, he's, he's making a wish on this dandelion. And so this is about being really clear about your needs and not assuming that people know. I think one of the hardest things in relationships is when we assume that someone should know and when they don't, we go back and punish them for not knowing what we did not tell them. So check yourself. If there's somebody else in your life who's doing this to you, maybe sitting down and having a clarity conversation of, look, I need you to just be brave and bold and tell me exactly what you want so that I know if I'm the right person who can give it to you, okay? So you're being clear, they're being clear. Now, for some of you, this might be your career. It's you asking your boss, this is what I want. This is the income that I want. This is the position I want. Um, some of you are talking to a parent, to a child, to a teacher, to a friend, whatever it is, be prepared to have a clarity conversation this week. All right, let's see what this means specifically for my Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Sun, Moon, and Rising. You know, a lot of it is you getting clear about what you want as well. Sometimes we don't know what we want. And so this is a week where it's time to really spend some time contemplating. And sometimes we don't know what we want because we don't know what's possible. So I like to play the I wonder game. So this is you, water sign. I want you to just spend some time this week going, I wonder if I could have this much money doing this. And, you know, wondering, I think, is a way for you to bypass what you think is possible. Or you can play the game, if I had all the money in the world, what would I do? If I had all the time in the money, you know, world, what would I do? Just to get really in touch with your true desires then you know what you can start asking the universe to help you create. All right, here we go. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Cancer, you have the karma card. So this is probably a cycle that you've been in before where you feel like you're not getting your desires met by something. Karma means that this is cyclical. This is something that's gone around and around and around. So if you find yourself going, this again, this again, wow, needs not being met, I don't feel heard, um, or somebody else is making me feel like I'm not worthy or that I'm not doing my part, a lot of communication needs to be happening around this, all right? Now, for some of you, this card, this justice karma card, can mean that you are facing a legal battle or you might be uh, you know, having to go to court for something. Um, it's really important that you're very clear about what you want and what you want is justice and fairness. You want a balancing. And so being really clear with any kind of attorney or judge or um, yeah, anybody that you're working with on that level. But other than that, I just feel like you have found yourself in a situation where you're afraid that your, your needs are not going to be met and there's only one way to make sure, and that is to communicate them. Um, I'm, I am hearing this come through that this might be towards a parent, even if you're an adult. Maybe this started as a child where um, you know you had a parent tell you that you were not good enough, or maybe they didn't tell you outright, but maybe you were just used to not getting what you wanted. This is making me feel sad, I just as I'm tapping into it. So there's some sadness here, 
And so this is healing. This is healing that karma of not getting what you wanted. You're old enough now, no matter how old you are watching this video, you're old enough now to where you can really make things happen for yourself. You don't have to rely on a parent or anyone else anymore. You can go out and get that toy that you wanted, that video game that you wanted. You can go to that on that trip that you wanted to go on. You can now be and, and give yourself the things that you wanted. You've been denying yourself because at some point in your life, somebody, you know, through circumstance or whatever, you, you were shown that maybe you didn't deserve these things and nothing could be further than the truth. It's a very tender card. So this is cyclical. Like I said, something's coming back around. You need to really look at it and go, you know what? First of all, I'm going to communicate my needs to the people around me and be really clear. And second of all, I'm going to start giving myself the things that I didn't get so that I don't have these gaping holes, okay? So I'm doing charms this week, so I'm gonna see what charm um, cancer gets here. Oh, look at this, you have this tree. This is like a family tree. This is your roots. You're kind of going back to your roots. And you're saying, yeah, there were just some times in my life where, you know, maybe my family had some hardship. Um, you may have even had a parent or, or a significant person in your life go to jail and that's really that's really affected you and so this is time to heal it it's time to come to terms with it and it's time to give yourself you are your family you are your family tree time to ground down into your new life and and get you know receive just like a tree receives everything it needs from mama earth you can be nourished and you can get everything you need from where you are right now so bloom where you are planted. Plant yourself here. Give yourself what you need. There's a lot of nature, you know, between the tree and this. If you find that you've been inside buildings too much or scary buildings like, you know, a courthouse or something, you do need some extra time outside in nature. Um, and notice how much you get and how much you receive just from being outside. Scorpio, you have the five of earth. Wow, this is like someone has, you feel like you were kicked out or, or cast out into the cold. Um, somebody definitely rejecting you. You also might be having some fears around survival, some uncertain self-employment and a lot of victim mentality where you're like, oh, I'm not getting my share and, you know, fear of, of, of survival fear is like, I don't, you know, feeling like you don't have enough money. You don't, you're not working the job that you want. Somebody may have just lost their job. Um, and so this is asking for what you want. This is about instead of going into fear and worry, go into prayer and start really visualizing what you want. Start putting out some very big vibes into the universe. This is what I want. Because if you're thinking about your lack and you're, and, and you're so much in that space, it, it's almost like it just becomes magnified in your life and you get more of it. And so the uncertainty turn into, uh, you know, this is a practice in building faith, right? We, we like to flex our faith muscle here. And um, so any sort of uncertainty around employment or self-employment, just say, okay, I can transmute uncertainty into faith building. And I'm going to start to affirm that I get the best job, the best income. I can start seeing I am coming. I'm digging myself out of this hole. And a lot of that is you just saying, this is what I want. This is what I want to do. And um, it's absolutely possible for me to have this position, to make this kind of money um, and or to even have this kind of business. You know, you might be wanting to own your own business because the five of earth is a lot of, you know, uncertain self-employment. So I'm just here to tell you, you can do it, but that's not going to mean anything until you get really clear that you can do it. And you start really asking for what you want instead of asking for crumbs. OK, I feel like you're just, you know, you're kind of like, I'll be OK if this happens this little thing okay i'll just i'll just take a hundred dollars oh my gosh the universe wants to give you like millions of dollars right and so ask for what you really want not for what you think you're going to get or what you deserve what you think you deserve let's see what your charm is scorpio oh you've got the heart oh my gosh I do think that someone may have broken your heart. I think that you've been through a breakup recently and you were like kicked out or somebody was just like throwing you out into the cold and it may have been really abrupt. Like they could have just like totally ghosted you and you're just sitting here like what? So you're healing your heart. But listen, anyone who treats you that way is not what you want. You don't want someone that's going to treat you that way. You don't want to work for a job that's just going to fire you, right? So don't want the things that have walked away from you. Don't want the lack. 
Go where you're loved, Scorpio. Go where you feel love. And that is going to be first and foremost within, in your heart. Find your home inside yourself. And that's where your abundance is because you are not going to let yourself out. You know, you're not going to let yourself stay out in the cold for long. So opportunities will start to come up as you are very sure about what you don't want. And as you start getting really clear about what you do want and you start putting more energy and focus on that. Pisces, you've got the five of fire. So you have a situation here where somebody has been very competitive with you. Um, there's some sort of a rivalry. This is probably at work. Although, interesting Pisces, I'm hearing there's a hidden rival. Someone that you would have never guessed comes out and, and just kind of like bops you on the head energetically. They say something offhand or they reveal a little jealousy that they've had or a little resentment that they've had against you. And you're like, what? And it's all because of a lack of communication. I do feel like this is a, a, a lack of communication that this person, you know, didn't communicate to you what their expectations were or what they wanted. And it's kind of like what I said, then, then of course you're just kind of going along your way and then they just offhand, you know, well, since you didn't blah, blah, blah. And you're like, what? I didn't even know that that's what you wanted. And so this is an exercise of patience for you this week. Somebody else is hurting in your space. This is what I'm feeling. I feel like somebody else is hurting. Somebody else is feeling a lack. And somebody else is feeling like they're not getting enough. They're not tapped into the, you know, prosper the, the prosperous and abundant part of the universe. You are. I feel like you are kind of just walking along like, you know, everything's hunky-dory. You just don't even know. And you bump into somebody who is really experiencing a lot of lack. And they kind of take it out on you. So... This is kind of like an opposite message where you might be having to help somebody else voice to you what they want and what they need so that you can help them so that they don't kind of bop you on the head. It's such a funny way of saying that. That's, I don't feel like it's a full on attack. I just feel like you just like they just kind of like poke you really hard and you're like, ow, what was that about? And this could be at work. It could be your boss that wasn't like clear about what they expected from you. And now they're making you out to the bad guy, right? So this is miscommunication. I just keep hearing that over and over. There's a miscommunication that happens this week that causes some sort of a conflict. And it's just because everybody has different wants and needs and desires. And there's a lot of people that are in lack mentality. And let me tell you what, the world is just kind of like that right now. Everybody is seeing, you know, the, the loss and the lack and, and they're tired and they're fed up. And I just really feel like it's taken out on you. So just be patient, understand, okay, if somebody's being competitive with me, somebody's, you know, kind of starting a conflict with me, you may want to just breathe and, and, and look at them in the eyes and really ask them, what do you want? Sometimes that's a really good diffuser. You know, what do you want? What do you want from me? Just, you know, and really listen to them. Let's see what your charm is. You've got the Joker. So somebody has been pretending that things are okay. This is like putting on an act. Um, somebody's been pretending that everything's okay and it's not. And this is going to frustrate you. This is probably one of the most frustrating things about any sort of relationship, whether it be work, friend, family, uh, spouse, partner. You're like, why didn't you tell me this before? Why did you let this go on? You know. But it's important that you just listen to their needs. But yeah, this person's a Joker. Um, they're playing games. You might have somebody that's playing games with you, making like gaslighting you, kind of manipulating you into th to feeling like you're not good enough because you're not giving them what they want, but they didn't tell you in the first place. Um, so there's a competition. Somebody's pretending to be your friend and they're not, they're really not. And it comes out this week. And I, I do think that this is coming from kind of like a, like left field is what I'm hearing. You've got two fives on the table, water signs, so that's a significant number for you. Um, I'm hearing high five, there's a 10, high five, hang 10, something like that where um, fives and tens might be a, a, a thing for you. Five, 10, and 11 is the karma card. So those are some numbers to watch out. Overall, for my water signs, I just wanna say, be patient, take a deep breath, get to the heart of the matter which is there's an unfulfilled desire that is 
controlling you or another person or a situation. And so your willingness to get to the heart of the matter, to, to say, what is it that needs to, what is, what, how can I fill this hole? How can I make somebody else's desire come true? Or how can I make my own desires come true? Or how can I, you know, finally um, speak out to the universe about my true desires um, so that I get out of that lack mentality, that competitiveness, or the, the cyclical karmic stuff that keeps coming back around. It's a big week for you, water signs. Remember, if you want a one-on-one -on -one reading, if you like my style and personality and you want to get a reading, crystaldoty.com. There's also a free meditation for you right on the homepage. This is just a very simple um, clearing. This might help you kind of clear your head, especially as conflict and heartbreak and cycles arise this week. Um, it's my gift for you for visiting my website. And until I see you again, you guys, I'm sending you so much love, light, and everything right. Angel blessings.